The team's playoff slogan is one team, one city, one goal, and they fulfilled the goal. He became the first WNBA team in history to win a championship on the road. For the second year in a row, you set the record for the highest scoring average in WNBA history. Now, you were led ably by Coach Paul Westhead. I know he is proud of the women. And uh, Corey Gaines was the assistant coach, so he had the pleasure of being part of a championship program. And he knows what it takes to get you in a position where you can win this year as well. Of course, I'm not going to be around to welcome you, <laughs> but play hard anyway. <laughs> the thing I love about this team and a lot of uh, champions that I get to recognize here at the White House is the fact that they understand your champ on the course and your champ off the course. The, um, this team spent weekends on a Habitat for Humanity program called Women Build. They served meals at homeless shelters. They honored breast cancer survivors. They helped sign up runners for Race for the Cure. They collected water bottles from fans and donated them to the Salvation Army's Extreme Heat Emergency Project. They participated in Read to Achieve. They helped stuff backpacks with supplies for underprivileged children. They support the Junior WNBA program, fully understanding that it, promoting healthy lifestyles is good for America, and there's no better way to have a healthy lifestyle than to participate in athletics. They've done their duty. As citizens of the United States, I'm honored to welcome you. I'm proud of your championship trophy. I thank you for what you do for the country. May God bless you all.